Well, hello internet and welcome to a hidden Power BI trick which I discovered recently, which I'd like to share with you. Now, before I do this, please make sure if you like the video, give it a thumbs up afterwards and also please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Now let's get into it. Now for that, I first need to create some kind of realization, um, maybe. So let's get actually started with that. Just choose some kind of a demo here. I'm using the category in my data set and then I also use, let's say, uh, some kind of measure. Let's go with, in this case, total profit in here. Okay, select the measure and then switch this to a bar chart. So far so good. Now, this is now the visualization I have and let's also add maybe uh, the labels for now. Let me go in here under this one and also add the data links. So far so good. Now, uh, of course we could add additional, um, well, visualizations to the report, but now more interesting is the actual trick which belongs to the slicer or to be specific to the slider of the slicer. Let's say we like to have some kind of numerical field like the dates for instance. So if I go in here and I choose my uh, dates table and in this case the dates field, so let me tick this option and then I don't want to see a table, I would like to actually have go in here and let's say I'd like to have a slicer. So I see it here, this is the new one, but I would like to have the old one. Let me go up here and let, let's choose, I go in here and say, I'd like to switch this to here, the slicer. So now I have this as a hierarchy by default, but I would like to switch this to, a, in this case, a numerical field. So a continuous axis, that's why I right click here and say, I'd like to see this as a date. That's the first thing. Now I see the daily dates. And now I switch this to a slider with um, a slider bar. So that's why I can go inside the slicer settings and go in here and say between. Now, this is the default behavior in Power BI, right? So we can see here, we have now our slider. And of course I can either enter the dates here directly or uh, click on here, that would also be possible and change it here. Or I can use the slider itself. Now, the, the one thing which I never liked in Power BI is actually the bubbles. The bubbles, they kind of look strange to me. This is, doesn't really look very good in a report. Now, that's why I wanted to know whether I can change this. Now, of course, the first option would be to go to the formatting pane. And if you don't see it here, go to more options. Then, of course, you can see it here. And then I said, okay, there's a slider. So far, so good. And of course, we can turn the slider off. Then it's gone. Or we just leave it on. Then, of course, we can see it. Now, the thing is, if I go to the slider settings, there's only one setting currently in this uh, older um, filter here in slicer, uh, which means I can change the color if I want. So I can set this to blue, for instance, you see it's now blue, but that doesn't really help, right? So um, I can change the color, but the color itself is not the problem. The problem for me, at least, are the bubbles. And uh, that's why uh, also customers uh, actually demanded that I get rid of this uh, slider completely because they really didn't like the bubbles. And as I said, I neither do. So what can we do? And the interesting thing is I discovered something recently uh, that is um, we can actually change this if we do the following. Let me just make it smaller for now. And um, if we go inside the property section here and there are the advanced options. And if we go to advanced options by default, the responsiveness is on. Now, if we uncheck the responsiveness, then please uh, have a show what, or actually watch what happens with the bubbles itself. Because if we untick this option, you see that the bubbles are gone and instead we have uh, single bars, right? Like this. And this looks, at least from my point of view, much more professional in a report. So I don't know why this only happens if we turn this response off, but uh, this should be actually the design by default, at least from my point of view, right? So if you also have this uh, problem, um, then give it a go and uh, go inside the property section and turn off responsiveness. Then you should also see here those bars and you do not see the bubbles anymore. So that's it for this trick. It is a hidden trick, at least from my point of view. So if you like this video, as I said before, please subscribe to the channel. Also, please give it a like and then See you in the next video. Until then, best guys.